Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in an alleyway. This police guard's about to help us, whether it realizes that or not. Shout out to Obscure Q. I have no idea if you'll ever see this, but uh, I really enjoyed the comments you were leaving on uh, the original Let's Play of Alan Wake. That was so far back in my... Uh, history that uh, I was still dealing with a, a problem I had early on where uh, I would record a video segment and I wouldn't know until afterwards that no audio was saved. Like I just couldn't tell until I finished and went and looked at that audio. It was a real pain in the ass. So uh, at least one entire episode of uh, Let's Play Alan Wake is just in silence with me maybe doing commentary over it to explain some stuff. And uh, I actually you know, got a comment on that from Obscure Q saying, Thank you, this is a surprisingly relaxing experience, and that weirdly makes me feel better about it. You know, I didn't see that one coming. I seem to remember I also got a, uh, an issue like that with... Uh, the original Dead Space. Obscure Q also liked a badass face-off that I did later on. I have to admit, I very much enjoyed watching it and seeing a bit where uh, I ran out of shotgun ammo as a Taken was rushing me, and uh, just calmly whistling to myself as I reload as he's uh, getting up in my face, finally take him out of the last possible moment. It was pretty good. And well done, past me. <laughs> But I ramble. I need to walk up to this window, put the light back in that cop car, and turn this wall into a doorway. The stairway up. Red lights. Okay, yes, the door did just close by itself, but it does that around here, so I don't mind. Oh shit, I was starting to say that I, I like the version of the dark place. Oh, it's just too quiet right now. Nothing? Nice view. But, um... Yeah, the version of the dark place they showed in the DLCs the original game. The writer and the signal. Where, uh... I don't know. I, 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 got, I know that it's because it's a DLC and they were saving money, but the fact that the entire DLCs were made up of elements taken from the main game and just sort of slapped together in a hodgepodge, surreal way really made it feel like there is nothing here. Uh, everything you are seeing is just your interpretation. Like, we're taking your recent memories and shaped a world out of them. I don't know, I just really liked that. What's this? Cards. Straight to the top. The dirty cops looked down on the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. And they got their throats slit on a fucking stage. Don't mind if I do? I remember that I called the uh, revolver from Clive Barker's Undying Grace because uh, in the journal entry about the revolver, uh, protagonist Patrick Galloway describes it as forged metal grace. I always took that to mean it's blessed somehow. I am curious, actually. Humor me. Uh, I can't use the writer's room on a ladder. I didn't know that. I can, however, use it over here in this ledge. If I walk back up to the edge, did you say something about the cult? No. Items appearing around me. Fine. Yeah, let's be thorough about it. Get back to the cops. Huh, interesting. The W is still there on this side, it's just in a different position.
New York's finest. Now, they said someone fell to their death. It wouldn't just be them throwing the cops' bodies off the stage. Up on the roofs now. I'm getting blurry. What the fuck? Oh, I'm just looking straight at one. That's why. Or not. What? Why was everything? No, not, not, not even everything. It was just like a little blur off the side of my hair. Don't lose yourself, Alan. Jesus Christ. You lose yourself. There's going to be so many Alans running around, we'll never be able to co combine them all again. Speaking of those DLCs, uh, there was Other Alan, the one who... The piece of Alan Wake that genuinely believed that uh, they were fucked and could never survive the Dark Place, as opposed to the one I was controlling, which was the piece of Alan Wake that was uh, convinced that they should hope and that they can get through this. The whole pair of DLCs was like this weird metaphor for seeing which one was stronger. I heard the voices. I don't see any shadows. So I'm gonna start running. Yeah, that's uh, that's light paint, all right. Is that important then? Well, it's just bullets, but okay. Wow. A set of batteries, two hand flares, a flashbang. Is that? Oh, I think that's flare gun ammo. And some sheriff's tape. Odd. I guess Tim must have left that one there. Oh, I hate the hand smears on the walls. I always thought that spotlights were the coolest thing when I was a child. Something that could just reach up from the ground and touch the clouds. Like it's no big fucking deal. I actually found them more interesting when they when it was an overcast day and you could actually see the circle of light moving on the cloud than I did when they were just piercing up into the sky. How many of these fucking movies were there? Worst Casey. Kind of going the right way. Is there something else over here? This is a big roof with a lot of like air conditioners on it. Also, what is up with these? I thought these were like chimneys, but there's like 15 of them up here. Humming. Oh, let me guess. Ah, yes, more sheriff's tape on the wall here. So that must mean... No, the door is locked. Well, I don't know. Maybe Tim just took a shower. Is hygiene a thing that happens here? Is nudity a thing that happens here? You want to bet that's a very important song. That's right, I didn't say anything about the cult. Uh, the, the cops until I searched those playing cards I found. It wasn't about just walking up to the edge of the thing. Was I, there was a ladder, yes, uh, over here under the underway. Fuck did I loop back around here? This is where I s this is that fucking uh 
balcony I talked about. I'm trying to find a big circle and... Oh, that was how I got in there? Is that the same alley? Yeah, that's the same fucking alley. Jeez, I didn't think my sense of direction was that bad. Sorry, guys. Let's just go left. And follow the wall. Oh, there are islands. That means following the wall might not work. Above the spotlights, what's the point? Apparently none other than getting that thing. Okay, then where was that one that led to Tim? Where would that go? I just assumed that was the same balcony I was going to and I hadn't noticed Tim's door. Okay, here we are. This door was closed. Side note, I want you to consider for a moment that uh, one of the uh, voice directors almost certainly had to hum that himself or herself in order to uh, tell uh, Sean Ashmore how to do that. <laughs> Why don't you just be absently humming to yourself and want it to sound like this? What? I hit A in a slightly ajar door and he reached out and closed it. I hate only having three slots. It's what lead to situations like this one. Honestly, fucking Zelda Ocarina of Time had three slots, and that game came out in 1998. And that was an N64 game. It probably has about as much data in that entire game as it takes to model Alan's revolver here. Where the fuck am I now? I'm right behind the cinema sign. This is where someone fell. Okay. That's where I'm supposed to be. Oh, there's no... There isn't any blood. I have to do this. A cult of the word. Occultists were driven ma uh, by mad fanatical belief. Or was it this one? No, this one. Cult of the word. Ah. Don't you fucking move. Don't you fucking move. Or I'll blow you away. You got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site? Is this story gonna kill Elmo too? I mean, it would be one thing and all creepy if that was Yako, but... You know, I, I've never been clear on that, because Alan was talking about how his stories hurt real people, but they're only hurting these ideas of people here in the dark place. Now where the fuck do I go? Oh, right, yeah, the Grand Master. 
wait inside his presence felt out in the night. Well, we are out in the night. That's the name of this scene. So, the Grandmaster. It's all dark down there. And no lights at on at all. Oh, that is creepy. I don't like that. I felt every muscle in my body just tense up right there when I was staring down into the abyss. Like, Alan unquestionably hurt Cynthia by having uh, Rose steal the lamp, but that wasn't a story. That was a message he sent directly to Rose. Or she went insane. You know, one or the other. So I'm thinking I just have to retrace my steps and maybe there'll be a ladder getting back into the theater? That's a bad sound. Is it still locked? It is. Maybe I can knock. No. If I have the shotgun out, does he still swing with the, uh, the flashlight? He does. I feel like that would be a lot less of an impact. Than just fucking bludgeoning them with your gun. And I know you're not supposed to do that. But hey, you know, it's got that big wooden thing on the back. Uh, the stock. Thing. No, no, don't run. Don't run. Okay, now run. I can't even see what I'm stabbing that into. Hi! Now I can. Oh god, he's a fast one. I'm getting bled over here! No! Fuck! You best believe it's mine! No! Hey, dead Alan. Hey, Scratch. I feel like he's degraded somewhat since American Nightmare. The snarling, twisted monster. Give me the clicker. I suppose to these calm ass uh, mockeries he used to send my way. The real problem is I should have been fucking obliterating them with a fucking flare shot. Let's try that fight again. have more. I don't think he liked that very much. Okay! Jumped out of nowhere on top of me. What? Okay, fuck this. Flare gun, flare gun, flare gun! I missed! He aimed off to the side. I 
you are the darkness that's in my story? Where the hell is this coming from? Maybe those are Allens I've forgotten. Is that what other Allen would have become? He was already pretty fucking dangerous and he was a face on a bunch of TVs. This is the way I came out. Cards are gone, I can tell you that. Oh, it's just a reflection of water. Uh, just a second. The door is not actually here, so we're just going to go ahead. And now we're back out in the alley, which I'm going to point out was behind me a second ago. The answer was close. Hell no! You know what? Goodbye! I'll go to left to him. in the audio because it's having trouble loading. Trapped in a loop. In an emergency, you can discard an inventory item. The discarded item will be lost permanently. Critical items such as weapons can't be discarded. Right back to typing. I guess that's this checkpoint. Oh, good. We're just back here in front of the alley. I just need to switch the lights from the car again. In that case... I don't need to reload anything. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2, when hopefully that goes better. We get back inside and track down the Grand Master, who can... Well, I was going to say you can hopefully fill us in on some blanks of the Cult of the Word, but nothing the Cult of the Word does makes any goddamn sense. This Alan's story is so much more confusing than Saga's. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I have a feeling it will involve murder, mayhem, and shadows. Until then, take care of yourselves, watch your back, and stay in the light.